Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brynn and today I look a mess. <laughs> but um, I have been super frustrated because I've refilmed this video three times now and for some reason it just does not want to upload to YouTube. So I'm refilming it again. Um, but I put, I tried to put this video out on New Year's Eve. That did not happen. But I really wanted to film and get this up uh, because I wanted to announce the winner of my giveaway, first of all, because it's been one week. So the winner of my giveaway is actually Sammy XO, and I have already messaged her. So congratulations, you're the winner. Um, and I will be sending your bear out to you as soon as you uh, reply to my comment. So, um, moving on, I have been having so much trouble filming you guys, or uploading. Um, I have a really old iPhone, and for some reason, they did not give me a lot of storage on my phone. So, I can only film like 10, 15 minute videos. It's really frustrating. I'm in the process of fixing that and getting a new phone, but they are so dang expensive that it might be a little bit. So I'm going to split this up into two videos. Um, so I didn't even explain what this video is. So I wanted to go through my top 21 candles for 2021 and, um, we will get started. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna split this video into two parts. So the first part is gonna be my top 21 to 11, and then part two will be my top 10 candles. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. So my criteria for a good candle is it has to be strong. I want like blow me out of the house throw, and um, so you'll see that the top candles are really strong ones. But, um, and also this list, I tried to put only new candles that came out this year, so um, they should all be new ones. Uh, so let's get started. So number 21 on my list is Salted Pretzel Milkshake. And this one is creamy vanilla ice cream, salty pretzel bits, and gooey chocolate drizzle. And this one, I have yet to burn it, but I do have several backups. Um, I don't know why though, but um, this one smells really good. I just wish that it had more of like a chocolate uh, or caramel note. It's kind of just like a salty pretzel. Um, but so many people rave about this one, so I got several. And so I'm excited to burn this one. Then number 20 was raspberry, blue raspberry snow cone. And that one was so good. It was really um, fruity and uh, it smelled just like a blue raspberry snow cone. And um, the only reason why it was like higher on the list is because it wasn't very strong when I burned it. Um, but it still had a really uh, sweet scent. So I really liked Blue Raspberry Snow Cone. Um, then we have number 19, which was Ice Cream Bar. And this one is, oh, by the way, I have most of the candles. Some of them I don't have them because I burned them and threw them out, but uh, I have most of them. So uh, this one is glazed chocolate wafer, vanilla ice cream, graham cracker crunch. And when this first came out in the summertime, I was like, eh, it's okay. Like it's nothing special. But then I found it on candle day and I smelled it again and it smells so delicious. Um, it is like a rich, creamy ice, vanilla ice cream. And then you get like a hint of cinnamon, like uh, the crust. And then I get a little hint of coconut. Um, but it smells stronger than I remembered. So that was ice cream bar. 
Then number 18, I have iced blueberry biscotti. And this one is sugared blueberry, sweet vanilla icing, almond biscotti, brown sugar. And this one's just kind of like a really sweet blueberry scent with like a hint of vanilla. And you're probably wondering why this isn't higher on my list because I love blueberry scents. Um, it was not very strong at all, um, so that was kind of disappointing. This whole collection was really weak. I'm not sure why, but there's that one. Then next was 17, and it was Lemon Cake Pop, and that one smelled so yummy. It was like a lemon cake bar. It smelled so good, um, but again, it was super light, so... Then uh, number 16 was Wildberry Jam Donut. And this one is Sweet Wildberry Jam Powdered Donut and Brown Sugar Crumble. And this one has got um, like the sweet jam and then I don't really get a donut note, but I get almost like a very like tea like a hint of a tea scent which is kind of weird but I would say this one was probably the most unique and the best one out of the collection so that's why it's on the top of that collection then we had number 15 on my list was rainbow confetti this one was Rainbow Sprinkles Vanilla Cake Buttercream Frosting Fruity Cereal Crunch. And I was like obsessed with cereal scents this year, you guys. I bought so many of these, but this one was supposed to be a dupe for the cereal marshmallow bar. And I think it was very similar. I don't think it was exactly that candle. This one, I get like a hint of like a cleaning product kind of weird but maybe that's like the lemon in there but it's still good and I still like this one so that was number 15 then at number 14 was Island Daydream so that one came out during the summer and it was super fruity and super good um, it was kind of light on the throw um, but still I really enjoyed Island Daydream then number 13 on the list, I have Pink Watermelon. And this one is Juicy Pink Watermelon Sugared Strawberry Blossoms and Lime Zest. And this one is so juicy, like a freaking the juiciest uh, watermelon candy that you could eat. It smells so good. Um, the only thing is this one was kind of light when I burned it um it still had like a medium throw but I thought it was gonna like blow me out of the house strong but it wasn't um because on cold it smells so yummy and fruity and just juicy uh, but still good then number 12 on the list was sweet kettle corn and this one is freshly popped kettle corn, creamy caramel, and sprinkled with sugar and sea salt. And I have this high or like lower on the list because uh, it was super strong. And it just smelled like really sweet popcorn, like a hint of caramel. Um, and you get the like butteriness too. Um, I don't think I would burn this again just because like just having a popcorn scent can get a little overwhelming but it was super strong and and delicious so sweet kettle corn then lastly for part one we have number 11 on the list and it is blackberry creme frosting and this one is fresh blackberry sweet vanilla topped with bubbly prosecco and this one, I don't know why, but I'm getting like a berry bubblegum scent. If there's a hint of like perfuminess in it too, so it's not like completely edible, but it's super yummy. And um, I wish I would have got more of these, but it 
does seem like it might be a little light when I burn it, so that's probably why I only got one, but. Okay, you guys, so that was it for part one, and I will see you guys in a little bit for part two, which is my top 10 of 2021 uh, candles. <laughs> okay.